<laughs> oh, 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 hi, I'm Sam Tucker, head of Apple's R&R &R department. And I tell you what, we've been working hard on the new iPads. <coughs> you see, the main thing about the iPad mini is that it's so small and portable. It's the main reason that people buy one. So when it came to reducing those unnecessarily large bezels, we thought uh, too hard. Introducing the iPad mini 5. That looks just like the four, three, two, one. You know what, let's just get rid of the numbers. If we can get rid of the headphone jack, we can get rid of anything. Actually, sir, the iPad mini five, oh, sorry, the iPad mini still has a headphone jack. No, what? We use precious man hours drilling a hole? That's it, everyone take a nap right now. But sir, we have to change something. Oh, you're right, okay, let's, let's invent a new color. Oh, that's too hard. Let's, make a new grey. We'll make it darker than last year. Yes, working on it, sir. Easy now, take it slow. There, done. Now, sir, what should we call this new shade? Uh, just keep it the same, space grey, it's fine. But, sir, we now have 50 shades of space grey. Damn it, man, I said take your nap, on the double. No, wait, scratch that. Take it on the king. There, one thing we made sure to do was update the screen to a true tone display that changes its color temperature based on its environment. You see, we like to keep things a little warmer around here. We find that all that blue light keeps our staff up during work hours. And if they are a bit restless, it now works with the Apple Pencil so they can do their coloring in activities. And we did of course include the more powerful A12 chip to make sure they could work hard on their Lego. But even after all of that, we still unfortunately found time on our hands. So we said, okay, let's upgrade the old iPad Pro 10.5 inch. We put in the A12 chip for the Lego, but we found that the screen was a little too bright and responsive. So we made it a little dimmer and a little slower. And heck, we even got tired charging so much for it. So we lowered the price. That's when Tim Cook came in and said, hang on a second, shouldn't the iPad Pro really showcase the very best that the product line can offer? And you know what? He was onto something. So we came back and we changed the name. iPad, oh! The all new iPads from Apple R&R. &R. I promise we'll remove that home button next year and replace it with a snooze button. Subscribe today. Uh, well, that's me done for another year. Uh, oh, hi, I'm just reading a little bedtime story. The Traveling Cat Chronicles, I recommend it. In fact, you can get a free ebook if you're a little, oh, if you want a little R&R &R and can't be bothered reading it yourself at audibletrial.com forward slash same time. Highly recommend some of it's from the perspective of a cat, the king of being, being a little lazy. Oh boy, you certainly are some lucky sausages today because here we have the world's first Apple keyboard. In fact, this is the actual keyboard where we first made up the startup sound for Apple. Yes, I composed it when I accidentally sat down. Music to my ears. 